In this tutorial, we will create an illustration using a digital watercolor technique and free Photoshop brushes. Compositionally, we use negative space, we highlight the background, and thus we can highlight the figure, creating an attractive illustrated effect. Start by creating an A4 document from the templates available in the formats in New Document window. Import the watercolor texture paper that you made in the tutorial 15 free Photoshop watercolor brushes to turn your images into a creative watercolor. Download the file or follow the steps of the tutorial to create the background. Open the file and select the line layer and background layer found in the background group. Right click on the name of either of the layers and select duplicate in document select on title 1. Select a stain, copy and paste it in Untitled 1 using Ctrl Command T to transform and frame it. The paper layer, background copy layer, is also transformed to fit the canvas after which merge the two background layers. Merge it into Multiplied mode. Add a level adjustment layer onto the stain, layer 1. Create clip and mask so the adjustment only affects the stain layer to burn off the background gray and make the border disappear. Also apply a level adjustment layer above the background to lighten it. Copy the image of the model and transform it to frame it in relation to the stain. To help, you can momentarily merge it in multiplied mode. To crop and keep only the face, Make a rectangular selection of the face and run Ctrl Command J or Layer New Layer to Copy and delete the one that contains the entire image. Blend Layer 3 back in normal mode and create the smart object by right clicking over the name of the layer and selecting Convert to Smart Object. Copy the effect of the line layer to the model. Drag the icon of the two circles to the right of the layer to the model's layer, layer 3. Remove the line layer. We had only needed it to make a copy of the effect. In addition, go to Filter, Estelize, Oil, Paint. Set the following values, Stylization 10, Cleanliness 10, Scale 0.1, Resale Detail 0, Check Lightning, Angle 0, and Shine 0 in the Model Layer, Layer 3. Drag and position this filter at the bottom of the Filter Effects. Edit the Smart Object of the Model by double-clicking on the Layer 3 thumbnail and divide the screen into two parts so that the changes can be viewed in real time. Go to Window, Arrange, Menu 2, Up Vertical. To add contrast to the model, add a black and white adjustment layer and regulate reds, yellows and magentas, which are the colors that make up the image and save it by Ctrl Command S. Back in the composition edit filter gallery, select accented edge and create a new one from the new option, bottom right hand side. Apply Sketch, Stamp, the master color it generates is from the previous document, so adjust the filters until achieving the desired effect. Their values are Sketch, Stamp, by Dark Balance 27, Smoothness 8, Brush Strokes, Accent Edges, Edge with 4, Edge Brightness 25, Smoothness 2, Artistic Paint Dops, Brush Size 10, Sharpness 0, Brush Type White Sharp, and finally Artistic Poster Edges, Edge Thickness 3, Edge Intensity 2, Posterization 6. To bring the master color to black, go to Image, Adjustment, Black and White menu, and drag the yellow and red sliders towards the black area. Define the model's feature in the Smart Object 
more by using the touch and burn tools. Make sure to set range, mid-tones and save to update the image in the composition file. At the end, close the smart object file. In the composition file, blend the model layer, layer 3, in screen mode to layer 1, making the black disappear. Add a layer mask and with the free dynamic watercolor brushes, paint in the mask the part of the background of the model showing the stain. To show the background paper through the white areas of the model, create a group with the stain layer, layer 1, and its labels adjustment layer. Select them and group them by clicking on the folder icon at the bottom of the layers window. Give it the name of watercolor. Now with a right click on the name of the model layer, select create clipping mask and blend it with multiplied mode. The white disappears and the image integrates with the background paper. Using color brushes, black and white, paint in the layer mask, blending the stain with the model's features. Rasterize the model layer, layer 3, right clicking on the name of the layer and selecting Rasterize layer. So you can modify the blacks and whites to create a watercolor effect on the edges. Use the smudge tool with a dynamic watercolor brush. Download free Photoshop brushes set to install it, double click on the file. Adjust to a small size in the properties, select mode normal, strength 83%, Uncheck sample all layers and finger painting. Smudging with black color selected, the stain appears since it is the black that reveals the watercolor stain. Press D key to set the default colors and keep the Alt key pressed to paint with the finger tool. It is like having automatically activated the option of finger painting that converts the tool on a brush and it does so temporarily. Press X to change between the black and white paint. If you work with a tablet, activate the always use pressure for size option. Review the edge and generate some dripping. To better define, you can use the tools of overexpose and underexpose using the Dutch and Burn tools respectively. Select another stain and take it within the watercolor group and blend it in multiplied mode. After that, highlight underexposed areas to darken stain colors and scale the stain for better fit. 